Hey everybody out there in TV land, yes, it's the one, the only, I know I've been away for a little bit of time, I don't even really remember the last real estate video I made for our YouTube channel or my YouTube channel, so forgive me for that, but this is Eddie, the Tattooed Realtor, coming to you live from inside or outside of our backyard, underneath our lovely patio area here in Margate, Florida, because it is raining outside. So I wanted to make this video, number one, to apologize for not being around too much the last year or so. I kind of took a break from the YouTube videos just because I was pressed for time and we will cover more of that in a minute. But before we begin, give sure, blah, 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 be sure, be sure to give that subscribe button a click. Love to gain you a subscribership. You know, the really cool thing is that I see the subscribership growing even though I'm not really making, or I didn't make videos, don't worry, that's gonna change uh, recently. And I thank you for that. I thank you for the subscribers. I thank you for the comments. I'm gonna go back and reply to all the comments that I miss. Once again, apologize for that. Excuse me, but you're gonna find out why and what I've been up to. So, anyways, we got that nitty gritty out of the way. So I wanted to bring you guys up to speed. So what has Eddie the Tattooed Be Realtor been up to the last year? So what I did was with a good friend of mine, we actually opened, um, built, planned, built, constructed, and opened an arcade, like a legit old school arcade. We go retro and new school arcade games, video game systems, we do events, tournaments. We do everything in the nerd, geek culture, video game culture. We opened up an arcade called Flynn's in Margate, Florida, um, right off of Margate Boulevard and 441 and that's what I've been up to. We've been dealing with the build out process, we've been going through the different permits and the different uh, leases and the different nuances of the build out process and the licensing. We are opened. We opened December 7th of 2019. We have uh, been open for a little over three months. Every day is better than the next. Um, we are, our fanship is growing really, really a lot. I'll put the description in the information, or I'll put the information in the description below so that if you guys want to check it out, all the information Information's there. So that's what I've been up to. I've been building and constructing uh, another business that I've kind of been working on in the in the backdrop, um, along with all our other real estate stuff that we've been doing. Um, and that's why I've been kind of uh, away from my keyboard, if you will, uh, nerd or t nerd talk, if you will, <laughs> AFK away from my keyboard. So. That's what I've been up to. I kind of just want to take a moment to talk about that because I want to encourage you that, you know, if you're in the real estate business and you have a vision to create uh, another business, another stream of revenue, another dream, go for it. Um, and in a couple of my videos, um, I've talked about dreams and ideas, and I recommend that you really dive into it because guess what? Uh, you know, you were given that dream. I, I believe that, that God just gave you that dream, and it's your responsibility, our responsibility, to bring our own dreams to life because they die with us. So I just encourage you. So that's what I've been up to for the last over a year, building it out. It's finally open and operational. Sure, it's not easy. Um, sure, it takes up a lot of time, but I do make time for my real estate business in addition to that. So segueing over to this video, to the preface of this video. And the preface of this video is number one, to let you guys know what I was up to, and number two, to encourage you to reach out and to dig into the community more than you already are. And, and there's a reason and a logic behind this. So in the last year, in 2018, surprisingly or not, I'm not gonna go into like huge specific numbers, surprisingly or not, I did more real estate in 2019, not 2018, 2019 than I did the year before. When I was, when I didn't have Flynn's going on, when I, um, when I was just solely focused on real estate, and the thing that was really interesting was when I started thinking about that, man, why did that happen? Why did you know? Why did I do more business in 2019 with Flynn's on my plate also than I did in the year before? And I started thinking about like what the reasons were, and it was the people. It was the people I was interacting with, the people I was talking to, the people I was meeting, the communities I was diving into that I hadn't dived into yet, had it, had it not been for Flynn's and for other things as well, it was the people. It was the community. A lot of times in our digital age, and this kind of like rocked my world, a lot of times in our digital age, we rely so heavily on Instagram, on Facebook, on, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and all this kind of, and yes, they're great assets, great tools, and yes, they should be within our arsenal, but 
Go out and meet the people. Go out and explore your community. Having done Flynn's in Margate, it gave me more of a chance to interact with more of our community, more of our residents, which was like amazing. And honestly, on a weekly basis, I'm giving more cards out. I'm able to talk to more people about real estate. I'm able to kind of build that book of business up even more because I'm out there even more. But once again, don't negate the, the strengths of social media. That definitely is a strong cog in the machine and it should be oiled quite frequently with new content. And once again, I've been bad at it this last year um, because of Flynn's, you know, taking over a lot of time. But now that Flynn's is not on completely on autopilot, but definitely the hard part of the build out is complete and it's up and running. You know, I'm, I'm switching my attention again to make sure that I put out quality content for my viewers, for my uh, community that I belong to on the internet, um, for real estate stuff too, because there's a lot of garbage being spilled out there and a lot of people being taken advantage of. So the preface of this video is to encourage you to get out there in the community, find those opportunities for you to plug in. And I'm gonna give you this example. I like to give you actionable steps because a lot of these videos, people just talk to you and they don't give you actionable steps. So these are some actionable steps that you could put into motion today, tomorrow, hopefully today, because you gotta be a person of action if you wanna get things done. So think about this. If you live in a community that has community, let's say farmer's markets, or let's say community garage sales, or let's say community, um, you know, things for the youth groups or things for the kids, outings, a library, go in and dig into those community events and find out what's going on in your community and make it your goal just to attend one. Now the thing is with going to those events, it can be a little bit more complex because a lot of people feel intimidated like they have to dress like your typical realtor. They have to like wear the, you know, the collared shirt and the and the tie and, and they can't let their personality shine or there's a stigma behind it or whatever. If that's your personality, hey, totally cool. But be yourself. So when you go out to these communities, be yourself. If you wanna wear your name badge, hey, totally cool. I do it sometimes. I don't do it as often as I probably should, but I do it sometimes. Make sure you have cards in your pocket. I usually have this really handy dandy card holder that I got from Vistaprint. Keeps the cards from getting all wrinkly. So um, you, know, you could do that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna find as many opportunities as you can to talk to the people present there. Now I'm not just simply saying, going up to them saying, hey, by the way, I'm a realtor. If you're looking to buy, sell, or lease, give me a call. Now, Everybody freaking does that. What you need to do is, or what you should do is, find something that there's a mutual bond between you and them and just start talking about it. Trust me, eventually it will come up what you do do for a living. And then that's how you say, well, you know, actually I help families in, in our community buy and sell a property. Hey, if you know anybody and casually give them the card. Now they have a card, obviously you wanna snag that as well, so you can add it into your email list or you can add it into your arsenal, of course, asking their consent and permission. So that's one idea, my first idea. The second idea that I had, or I've, I've been employing, kind of like unbeknownst to me, is that I have actually been integrating more into this culture of the gaming community, of video games, arcade games, comic books, cosplay, all these different, you know, geek nerdy centric uh, communities, tabletop gaming, things of that nature, like D&D and Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, because of Flynn's and I'm finding that once you find out who your people are or, or, or where you spend your time with your community, there are so many opportunities there for you to help them and to be a blessing to them and to you know, just kind of guide them along the real estate purchasing path. So if you're into cross-stitching, I don't know why cross-stitching came into my mind, but you know, if you're into cross-stitching, maybe you'll find a community cross-stitching group, uh, be it on meetup.com, that's a great website. Facebook has groups as well. Or maybe you're into kayaking here in South Florida, it's very popular, go into the kayaking group. What my suggestion is to integrate yourself into community. I do not know why realtors have this epidemic with going to real estate centric events with other realtors. It's like, come on, really? You're gonna spend time with other realtors that are in the same business as you trying to get more business? Mm, the likeliness of that happening is slim to none. So anyways, if you go to them, hey, totally cool, that's awesome for you, but just something to think about in general. So anyways, guys, that's some tidbits, ideas for you to think about in this upcoming week, month, or year. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. My information is always in the description. I'm always here to help. Once again, be sure to give that subscribe button a click, and we can't wait to hear from you soon. Hope you guys have an amazingly successful day, and yeah, I'll talk to you later.